breaking news. Um, EDA had a, a leaked letter or leaked letters. These leaked letters, guys, exposed EDA for who they are. It exposed wha what they are saying and things that are very uncomfortable. But I'm not going to waste uh, look, much of your time, guys. E ANC as well have responded to this. On the 23rd of June, 2024, um, a letter written to General Secretary of the National uh, African no of the National African Congress, um, uh, which is Figlem Balula, it reads, "Dear Mr. Balula, thank you for your thank you for your letter uh, letter, thank you for your letter of yesterday, twenty second of June, two thousand and twenty four. I have been um, designated to respond on behalf of John." The DA remain committed to being uh wait, 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 wait. There's something that you need to see. The DA remains committed uh to being part of the multi-party government that delivers demo look that deli that delivers uh demonstrate and a positive change for the people of South Africa. We believe that government should give effect to the a preamble of the constitution and uh, in accordance with the principles set out in the statement of intent. Our decision on whether to join on whether to join such a government will and in look will in the end deepen our ability to effect such change. We have mandate from 3.5 million voters to do so, and it will be a betrayal of them and all of the people of South Africa if we if we to enter a government in which we are uh, look we are inhabitant from delivering uninhibited from delivering okay there's there's something that you need to see here remember in the public they call it a government of uh of national unity the da calls it what multi-party tell me something when zuma said the anc joined the moonshoot is he lying okay do you remember that it was uh, to remember that the multi party was formed prior before elections by the DA. The ANC was not part of it. ANC has joined the multi party. There is not a government of national unity, but it is a multi party. We're about to proceed. Don't worry. We're going to also have EANC as well responding, right, on these things that is now has now been leaked to the media. Right. But before we proceed with this, I'm very keen to know why don't you do this? If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contributing to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed the da also continues to say the election result requires that uh, power be shared in a new government that means power cannot continue to reside solely with the ANC. It also requires that we respect the size of the ANC's mandate from the electorate. Please be assured that we do. That's that's uh, your Helen Zilles, right? The proposal we set out in uh, in our letter 
to the president on the 20, 21st of June 2000, look, 2024 gave full and accurate expression to the statement of intent. It did not, as you suggest, uh, propose a strict uh, proportionality in the distribution of cabinet seats. On contrary, it is set out a clear, reasonable, fair way in which um, to uh, operat uh, operatize clause uh, 16 out of our agreement, which seeks to respect both the will of the people expressed in the election and the need for inclusive in the national interest. Now, at this moment, probably there are things that I'm seeing, but... It's not clear. So it's not clear as to say, at this moment, it's not clear as to say, where are we going? But you can now hear the tone. The tone The tone here is set. And hear the tone. Now, it, the letter says, it is obvious that the distribution of position in the cabinet can only start with the consideration of the relative electoral size of the party, parties participating in government. Now, now here again, here again. The the word of the parties uh, of the parties participating in government is high. Uh, look, it is highlighted and the, the, look, it is highlighted with bold what 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 right. What the DA is saying is here. They are saying if we allocate seats, we must not approach it from the point of let everybody get some uh, look equal share from uh, 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 across the spectrum but rather what would, what the, the DA is, has already said here is that let us get look let us get the second highest number of people in your cabinet that is what we are getting now but let's continue by definition i meant uh, look i made up uh, parties participating in the government that are not made up of parties in proper in opposition that is what pa local parliament is for this is the first time and a different of interpretation in the regard has been expressed and now let's go let's continue the letter is very long guys uh let's continue right because at this moment one will say ah but Bongan, at this moment it's not clear what they are saying, ah, it's fine. If it's not clear, this is what we're going to do. Now they say, consequently, we set out again our approach to look, to ensuring cabinet reflect both the will of the people as expressed in the uh, in the election and the inclus inclusivity in the national interest. Now, whatever they are saying, they are saying we deserve majority that's what they are saying we deserve to have the second highest number of seats in that national in the government of national confusion right national uh, government of national unity the approach starts by determining the number of votes each party now you, you, you hear i mean i'm 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 i ah, you hate da there they they there it goes the approach starts by determining the number of uh, of pots each party to the statement of intent will be entitled to if ele ele elections outcome uh, if ele if the elections outcome as a result in our in our proportional representation system was the only consideration this covers the will of the people imperative in clause 16 the, now listen, listen. The D, the ANC and the DA has the la, look is the oh the DA and the ANC as the largest parties will have been required to sacrifice pot uh, proportionally to inclusive pot. This covers inclusivity in the national interest imperative in clause sixteen. Okay, let's continue. See what the what the outcome of this of this process will produce cabinet and deputy um, local mastership to which both the ANC and the DA as the largest parties will contribute votes proportionally as proposed by David Makura, the ANC chief negotiator. Uh, he used the term proportionate um, the local delusion to capture it. 
the table provided in our previous letter to the president refer. It is impossible to conclude this approach. Uh, it is it is it is impossible to conclude this approach does anything other than give fair, reasonable, and accurate effect to clause sixteen of the uh, statement of intent. Look, what's in? Given the need now to pro, look to progress, these decisive look these decisions we include below a number of specific uh, specifics that essential in ensuring democratic alliance is able to effect positive change in government. Okay, this is where the party. This is where now the juicy is. You thought people were joking when people were saying the DA wants to be wants who look who, who stand here and to be the deputy president. You thought people were, were joking, or we thought when we told you in the beginning that they want to get rid of Paul Mashatile. Uh, you thought we were joking, right? Definitely so. Now, DA, they are going to explain themselves without us having to explain who they are. Take a look at this. The common position that DA holds should rightfully include, listen, listen, rightfully include the part of deputy president, in other words, the seats of being a deputy president, as it's standard practice in similar gov government around the world. Uh, right? Number one, we should only agree to give up that post if it's placed with both minister in the presidency, right? So you see that they are creating the alternative. If we are not the deputy president, then give give us a mini local, uh, both minister in the presidency. We also design as a leader of government of business, number three, right? And parties fully in the police development. So they wind up to have a control in the policy development, right? And responsibility of the president. As a deputy minister of finance, no, that's number five. We want the deputy minister of finance at least and participate fully in the development of the budget. The DA wants themselves close to the control of power completely. They want themselves very close they want as very a uh, complete power in how uh, the, the, how policy are developed in this country now i'm going to ask you a question when the da say they hate the anc i mean sorry they hate eff they hate they hate um e, 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 mk part on which basis do you think they hate those two parties all right let me let me give you something those two parties have spoke about that they, they like that they need to be a change in the constitution. How do you change constitution? How do you change government? By changing policies. When the DA says we want security, we want to change this, who do you think they are going to protect? Why do you think they specifically choose these key positions? It will tell you something. But let's see. It is also reasonable and fair that the DA should be represented across across the cabinet clusters to look to speed matter along. We set out here a preferred portfolio in each cluster. Okay. So when we told you you can't go in bed with the DA, we were told, "I, you guys are haters. You guys are really haters." Right, so we said, okay, it's fine. We are really haters. It's okay. Um, okay, I'm seeing a certain statement that it's not for now. It's not that important. There are statements here that are very, very, very important. Um, there's a statement from ETA that I wanna check as well because hey, these letters are too many. Oh, guys, the letter goes on. They want the director general in the department reporting to the, the local the Democratic Democratic Alliance. Ministers are selected in the panel. Ooh, guys, I let, let's read, let's read, let's read. Uh, they want uh, parties, uh, local parties, uh, casting of Democratic Alliance ministers and submitted to the president for its approval. That that such approval cannot reasonably be withheld. 
the contract of all current DG will also be look need to be reconsidered in light of our concern that in Quebec may not be uh, look may not be um, immeasurable to direction of the Democratic Alliance ministers, especially given the ANC's CADA deploy uh, CADA deployment. Yay! Go be. To all, listen, listen, listen to, to all the tenders in the department reporting to the Democratic Alliance ministers issued since the the local the pro, pro, what, 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 uh, promulgation of uh, election date be reviewed. It is um, obviously not possible to effect change in context where a recent uh, decision local by the previous government are rendered irreversible. Right. That a technical cleaning house is established, uh, consisting of representative from each uh, participating party, which uh, look we with a mandate to resolve the local differences over policy and other decision of governance across the census um, before they before they become a source of conflict in the cabinet. It is in a, in an ev- look in an event in the event census is possible sufficient census will be uh, required as uh, look as contemplated in the clause 19 um, 19.3 of the statement of intent in the event of differences prove a uh, particular uh, I- I- look intra I- look intra intra table they will be look there will be a need to be resolved by the president and the leader of the of the democratic alliance this approach will be will give proper effect to close 19 of the statement right listen to this one hey finally please be advised that democratic alliance participation in the government of uh look in what what nadal depends on our participation in the government of uh, in the on the national level we would like to reiterate once again that we remain fully committed to participating in the government in which we will be able to effect positive change for the people of south africa our country faces a unique opportunity now to implement a program that will boost job creation, elevate elevate poverty, provide security, education, healthcare, and social support for our people to so desperately need we stand look we stand ready to deliver this imperative uh with you on other signatories on the statement of intent that is da for you guys you, you see how cruel is da sabaku wabaku so watuani ningai la nizoli mal batini bona hey this has started here i'm just showing you how deep this thing is um, economic sector investment and what infrastructure development minister of mineral resources and energy ministry of transport with uh, transnet relocated to the part- portfolio minister of trade and industry they it the guys i can't even continue reading this like the list goes on and on and on and on that is da for you now, you see, when we talk, when we say to people, this is not a government of national unity. It's a government of national confusion. It's a government of corruption. People thought we were joking. The ANC has put itself in this position. There are people who are deliberately sell, selling out. Deliberately selling out. You, you can see it for what it is. And it's even difficult for me to do some bit of an analysis. Uh, I will do it on a separate video. Let's go into the one year ANC now. For immediate release, 24th of June, 2024 by ANC. ANC update on phase two of the establishment of the government of national unity. African Co- National Congress ANC note with concern that some parties have been making uh, out and uh, outrageous demands for specific cabinet positions in the media. Negotiations through, uh, through leaking demands to the media in an act of birth faith and this practice will not will not help the cause of any party it is it is it is only the president who has the final say on the appointment of the cabinet the g the, the gnu cannot be held to ransom by a single party the people need uh, a need a government to be established sooner rather than later the nc is in this position guys what do you expect 
It's like, here's an example. You, 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 you had a baby mama. There was a fallout between you and your baby mama. A very serious one. So you went your separate ways. You know she's bitter. You know she's a bitter ex. And then he, there's, a, there's a serious business that or a tender that you get. A very serious tender. You decide to call her back and you want to work with her. And here's the thing. You want to work with her. You want her to be your business par partner. But you know there was never a reconciliation. And th there should not be a reconciliation because there's a tender. There should be a reconciliation because both parties want to have peace. But in this case, the ANC decide that they are going to go in bed with a bitter ex who have never apologized to them, doesn't show any signs of remorse, what were you expecting? You can't be writing now, what the NC is doing right now, they are doing a damage control. DA has been showing their true colors from the beginning. DA has never had... Guys, let's not run away from this. DA has never hide who they were. Never. We've always knew... I've done a lot of videos here showing you who DA is. It's even difficult to me to find and, and combine some other analysis because I've been doing that thorough job, making sure that I keep you updated through leaked letters and everything. I made sure that I keep you updated. We saw DA for who it was. This is not a surprise. ANC knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Now they can't be victims. They knew that they wanted to sell out. So let them reap what they want, look what they've always desired. And that was to sell out. It's not like the, uh, the it's not, we, look, oh, Buffett. The African National Congress confirmed that since the announcement of the historic uh, agreement between 10 parties, uh, 10 uh, South African political parties to form um, uh, uh, look, an ANC-led government of national unity of the seventh administration, uh, phase two of the establishment of the GNU is well underway with high anticipated announcement of a cabinet by the president, Cyril Lamaposa, drawing close. The outcome of the 2024 national and provincial elections made it clear that 30 years is look 30 years into democracy. South Africans wants political parties to work together to solve the important challenges facing the look the uh, the country and improve the lives of our people. The NC uh, the NC as a party that received the largest number of votes after considering various options towards the uh, formation of uh, a government resolved that the NGU the government of national confusion will be the best fit in the national interest and look uh, and took the in, look at the incentive or the initiative to engage all parties uh, which won parliamentary seat towards the formation of the government of national confusion. Intense talk led by ANC with all parties since the announcement of the election result saw a total of 10 out of 18 political parties joining the government of national confusion uh, by June 20, look by uh, 22nd of June 2024. This is the ANC explaining themselves here. So they go on to name all those political parties. I'm not. In, I'm not interested. I'm not shocked. You know, there's a statement by who. Um, there's a statement by U uh, Figil and Balula when he uh, no 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 no. There's a statement by U uh, this person. There's a statement by U uh, who's this guy man. Um, there's a statement by U uh, Julius Malema. Yes, he likes to say Ramaphosa cannot work except he is supervised by white people. He's not free. He like he, he always say. Look, you always say that Ramaphosa cannot function except a white person is included. What are this, this this dilemma and uh, what, what 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 that they find themselves in? It was very unnecessary. There were better options, but they chose the worst option. There will bear the consequences. Unfortunately, innocent people who are supposed to be the recipients 
of good service will suffer the consequences because this national government of confusion is going to affect a lot from service delivery point of view. And I want you to note this from service delivery point of view. This government of national unity and national confusion, national cor corruption is going to affect a lot. But let's end it here. We'll continue with the uh, look. We'll, we'll continue with this um, on another video.